What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be doing a full walkthrough on how to do a cartoon head. So without further ado, let's jump right into this thing. Okay, first thing you want to do is drop your opacity down. On your picture and lock that layer come down create you a new layer right above that then you want to come over here and set your pressure on your pen you know what I'm saying on your digital art tablet if you want to get this option right here the pressure option what I'm using is a UG tablet you can find on Amazon and if you can't find that brand on Amazon they got a a couple more tablets just like it you know what I'm saying I'll put some pictures up so y'all can check it out but first thing you want to do you want to come down here click OK go to pressure change these two numbers to three and then you want to hit OK you should end up with this brush right here and all it is is just me pressing hard and then I'm ending it with light pressure so I can get sharp points <clears throat> okay now we're gonna focus on making the line work to get your lines real crispy and clear and straight what you want to do double click your brush and move your smoothness up you know what I'm saying until you get it to a point where you like your lines you know what i'm saying if your lines coming out clean but i'm gonna leave mines in the center zoom close in on your picture and then you just want to slowly copy everything you see let's move our brush size down to 0.75 we're just going to make some clean lines. What you want to do is you want to come over here right click get out your pencil tool double click it make sure your settings look like mine's you want to hit ok you want to move this black to the top keep that bottom layer locked we're gonna fill in this hair so let's go ahead and make a nice fill in Now that we got that filled in, you want to come closer to the edges. You want to kind of add a little detail. Don't make it so perfect. So to have like a, a nice realistic effect. why you leave a little space so you can come back and add the little fine pieces of hair 
gonna do the same thing on this side. Sideburns. We just gonna add some small pieces of hair, so it look like a nice little fade. And now that we did the fade. Come back to his eyebrows, make our brush small. What we're gonna do Now, what we finna do is the coloring process. So, all you wanna do is, you wanna select everything. Come up here to object, expand appearance. Then you wanna click merge, your pathfinder. Duplicate our line work layer. Lock the top copy. Make sure you got the bottom selected. Find a nice skin tone. A base tone. It don't gotta be perfect because we can always tweak it. Click OK. Come to your rectangle tool. You wanna drag that color of the entire picture. Right click the color. Go to arrange. Send to back. And you'll know if you did that step right if you look over here and you see your line where it's sitting on top of the color you want to highlight everything once again click merge 
right click the color go to isolate selected group and now we can color certain areas that's closed off we're gonna color these eyes white so let's click it hold shift click down the other side hold shift again select the teeth we'll make that white you want to click off of it after you done colored it now we're gonna color the lips so let's find us a nice little nice little base tone for the lips now we're gonna color the bottom lips hold shift to select more than one thing got everything colored if you want to tweak it a little bit all you got to do is select everything come up here to edit edit color adjust color balance and now you want to go to preview and now we can tweak some of these colors a little bit Okay, and that's our base color. So now what we finna do? We're gonna copy that color layer, and then we're gonna lock the bottom color layer. Turn the eye off real quick. Hit it. Go back to the top color layer and hit this drop down menu. Hit it again. And you wanna stroll down. So you see your last black line and then you want to lock every black line by just holding the clicker on your mouse and strolling up just lock all the black lines and keep these top two unlocked and now we're going to delete only the skin tone Isolate select group and delete the skin. We're gonna keep the nails, we're gonna keep the lips color, and we're gonna keep the eye color. Let's delete all these pieces of brown that's trapped inside. Okay, now this should be sitting on top so we're gonna lock that layer and now we're gonna turn our eye back on to our color layer and, the re and we're gonna create a layer in between those two layers and the reason we do that so when we trying to shade that'll sit on top 
you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about trying to go around it. It'll just fall under it. You know what I'm saying? So it'll, it'll make it easier. But you ain't got to be so. So let's uh, sample the skin tone. We're going to start shading the skin. After you sample the skin tone, you want to find a nice shadow. now hit okay and now let's start shading our dark shadows create a layer right under it and we're gonna go a little lighter with the tones so let's create us an in-between color
gonna do, we're gonna select all them colors on our midtone layer. We're gonna go to object, expand, then we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder so we can make it all one. On that layer, our midtones, just our midtones, we just connected all the lines we made using the midtones. Now we're gonna go to edit, edit color. Adjust color balance and we're gonna tweak it just a little bit so we can get it to fade better. Add a little more red to it. And there we go. Just hit OK. We're gonna go back to our base color. And we're gonna add a, a little more red to that tone. If I edit. Edit colors, adjust color, preview. And we're just gonna make that fade a little better. Hit okay. So to have a nice little flow to it. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna come add the highlights on the face. So we're gonna create us another layer. Base tone. And we're gonna make a nice little, a nice little highlight. 